put it into my nose, I can still I can still talk. You can, I can still speak intelligently. As it goes deeper and deeper in, I'm gonna have to hyperextend my jaw to give it enough room to pass through. You'll actually, if you watch closely, you'll be able to see the moment when I push my jaw out that extra little bit that makes it so I can't speak. At that point, Joel is gonna translate for you what I'm saying, okay? You get that? Just, Patsy, just, 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 just stand there and look She's pretty. Confused. Just stand there and look so pretty, Patsy. The drum kit. All right, where's the, where's the mic stand here? Here we go. That's just a bit of lube. Lube is important when it's this big, right, Patsy? <laughs> Absolutely, that's right. Hey, hey, hey. If, if you came here with someone who didn't laugh at that joke, leave with someone who did. <laughs> You'll have a much better Saturday night. <laughs> All right, here we go. I've got it lubed up. Uh, gonna go with the no, keep going watching. Keep going watching. No, turn around. You're missing the show. Oh, All right, he's now healing. The screw. Hey, here we go. One, two, three. Turning the corkscrew through his face. You can see it come out of his mouth. All right, watch it go around his face, through the ear hole, going through the ear hole. We play. Did it. Oh, fuck no. Hold on, hold on. Did you have something to say? Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh I like you guys. Oh, 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 oh. I love you guys. Yes. Is that what you said? Oh. Yes, what you said? Oh. You get that right? You guys are great. Oh, I got it right. Okay. <laughs> I love Catch You Blues on 2024! <laughs> Close enough. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's an he's an idiot. Uh -huh. No, what? Uh -huh. All right, the course suit coming out of his face, clearing the nose, and there it is. Yay. Crazy. Looking the look at it, Patsy. Look at it, Patsy. Look at it. <laughs> She's like, don't fucking touch it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are we having fun? <laughs> All right, yeah, that, that sounds like a solid crowd right there. That sounds like right about there, right? Solid so go ahead. Crowd. Now, uh, you know, I would hate to ever disappoint anyone, but I would be especially hurt if I felt like I had disappointed Patsy, our, our, our do lovely it. guest here. Don't so, Patsy, there. I'll tell you what we're going to do just for you. You wanted to pull a sword out of a lizard? <laughs> I'm going to give you the opportunity to pull a sword out of a lizard. Now, folks, this is legitimately one of the most dangerous things that I or any other sword swallower does. Because sword swallowing alone can kill you. But sword swallowing with the help of... Patsy. Patsy. Nancy. <laughs> is... Francine. Incalculably dangerous. So first thing we're going to do, Patsy, is we've been getting to know you a little bit better, so I'm going to get to the point where I really feel safe swallowing sword there. Let me see you just pull that sword out of the scabbard. She's so pulling it out. Nice, nice, smooth stroke. Yeah, I, I like work. it. That's good. That's Patsy. good. That's good. Now, you, you, you saw me do this last night, so you understand what's going to happen. I'll just explain it for them. You do it while I'm explaining it. Patsy right now is checking out the blade, just making sure that it's a real sword. It doesn't bend. It doesn't no. fold. It doesn't collapse. Touch In it. fact, Patsy, go ahead. Touch, 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 touch the edge of the blade. Touch the edge of the blade. I've got more alcohol wipes. So don't worry. Good. Right? So, yep. That's good. Solid. You notice, too, that the edges are dull. Now, that's something that a lot of people don't know or sometimes they're surprised to find out. But here's the deal. Every sword swallower uses a dull sword. Here's why. If you swallow a sharp sword, you die. Makes sense. Pretty simple. Every single one, every single time, they've died. But if you learn what you're doing and you get just lucky enough and control the circumstances properly, 
you can push a dull sword down your throat and then pull it back up, all none the worse. So Patsy, that's what we're going to try and do here tonight. You're going to assist me by attempting to pull the sword out of Lizard. You guys are going to assist in two very important ways. Number one, I'm going to ask you before I put the sword down my throat, not right now, but it just goes for the loudest, most thunderous round of applause you give all night long because that's what I want to hear before I die if tonight's the night. Right? But secondly, and just as importantly, I want all of you with your cameras out ready and recording. Because Patsy doesn't get away with killing the lizard, all right? I want evidence. I want all the evidence, right? Yeah, you're, you're no longer an audience at that point. You are the witnesses for the victim, all right? That's what you are. I'm trying to find my other uh, alcohol wipe so I can clean that blade off. Patsy, let me see that. Here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean off this blade so I'm ready to put it down my throat. I'm also going to prepare my body. do a couple of little exercises over here to the side. While I'm doing that, Joel, and incidentally, Joel Keith here, he holds the record for pulling a sword out of a lizard more times than anyone else in the world. It's, a, it's an amazing record. Thank you so uh, much. I, 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 I accept. I, I, can't believe, I can't believe that here you are 16 years after the first time doing it. You know, you've, you've achieved that record. My mother is so proud. So, uh, so he's definitely an expert in the field. Just listen to him as he sets up, and then I'll get this ready, and we will swallow a sword. All right, so Patsy, uh, which arm do you feel like you're going to pull the sword? We're going to do right. Okay, she knows. Right. Okay, so let's uh, loosen it up. Loosen it up. Okay, swing it around a little bit. Swing it over your head. One, two, three. All the way around, Patsy. Pull it. Pull your arm, Patsy! Pull your arm, Patsy! You're not even trying! You're not even trying, Nancy! Florine, let's do this! What are you making me look at? What's going on, Florine? What kind of show there's children here, Nancy? Alright, Patsy, here we go. Alright, let's pretend that Lizard Man's face is around this blade. Now don't uh, don't pull it out and then go back in. Like oh maybe he wants to have this back in his body. Don't do that. Uh, no Z's, no Zorro. We had somebody do that once in Florida. Never go to Florida. I'm just kidding. Florida rules. Yeah, I love having one leg after going to the beach. All right, uh, I, I think she gets it. I think we're ready. Are you ready? All right, I think I think I'm ready. Let's uh, let's find out. Let's say let's take a quick poll. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, birds and squirrels, are you ready to see some sword swallowing? <laughs> Holy shit, yes you are, all right. Nancy, Francine, darling, Patsy, are you ready to pull a sword out of a lizard? So Woo! fucking ready. <laughs> so I go an entire damn show to the very last stunt without cursing <laughs> for what might be the first time that's ever happened this century <laughs> and then my volunteer <laughs> proclaims to the world including a front row of children we can see <laughs> Sister. Oh, those are your sisters. Well, that's right. Cause, look, everybody's sisters are every. It's just all right then. It's just, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Throw society's rules out the window. It doesn't matter. We're in Dunkirk or New York. <laughs> She's the only one older than you. Okay. Wow. You want everyone to know that? Wow. I was just saying. Okay. And, uh, I was just saying that's right. And, and, and you, you know how much she loves you by making sure that that was announced over a loudspeaker. Uh, she, she wasn't going to wait till I got off stage and be like, Hey, Lizard Man, just so you know, she's the only one that's older than me. No, she wanted to make sure that all of you get to know how old she is. Re well, again, re relative to Cat. Rel relative to Cat. I... I I think you are I think you are old enough to have to le legally face charges if you kill me doing this. So let's uh, <laughs> I mean it's uh, it's all fun and games. It's all fun and games till the lizard gets stabbed internally. So let's uh, let's focus back in on what we're doing here. All right, folks. Before you saw me lube up the corkscrew before I put it through my head. Well, much like that corkscrew, this sword needs lube before I'm going to put it inside me. So give me just a moment while I get it ready with the best lubricant in the world, which is spin. That's right. Ding ding ding. Spit. Are you doing that one side first? Correct. Correct. Get the other side right yeah. there. Here's what we call the money shot for this act. Both sides. 
Can you see that? Are you able to see that? Do you need him to get closer, Patsy? Okay, check it out. Do you want to get it closer? Very nice. Excellent work. That was the scariest game of chicken I've ever been in. <laughs> How close is she coming? Uh, okay. Patsy. Actually, Patsy, stay right there because it's going to be perfect. I'm going to swallow the sword right here. And folks, just because I am stupid and can't stop risking my life for you guys, once I swallow the blade, I'm going to bend over in half, take a bow so that everybody up here in front with their cameras is ready for it. We're going to get a nice shot of the blade going right down my throat like this. Okay? I can only hold that for a couple of seconds, and then I'm going to pivot to you, Patsy. And uh, Patsy, uh... I'd wink at you, but I'm wearing sunglasses because that thing is blinding, all right? So, Patsy, just when I turn to you, just give me a half second to pause, and I might gesture with my hands, but go ahead, take that sword handle. Just hang on to it like you did the fork, and let me kind of fall backwards, and it'll slide right out of me. All right, we all good? All right, we all good? Yeah. Well, hell, let's do it. And the motorcycle is now... What? All right, let's hear it, guys. Joe, 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 me. The show's almost over. I had to remind them. Whoa, you're making me nervous now. Don't say the word dead. <laughs> I, I don't know if you've ever watched someone try and kill themselves before. All right. But there's usually not this much discussion. <laughs> no, you guys are my ride. Then they tell you you're giving me and Joel a ride home. Joel, 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 Joel. You, you want to see them cheer for my death really quick? If I live through this, I'm sleeping on your couch tonight. <laughs> You're going to love it. I'm pretty sure this guy's right. Hold on. Uh, uh, Lubin, re-lube, re-lube, re And I'm stalling. Here we go. Are you ready, Patsy? She's ready. You're making me laugh. And if I laugh... Well, it's just pull straight out. You're going to get stories. <laughs> just a normal... Sort them out. Don't worry, I brought... All right, sort them out. Pull the sword out. And projectile vomit all over you. Oh, right fun. There. We'll get it all on camera. It's like war, but yeah, real vomit. <laughs> all right, the sword is now going down into his face, in the throat, down to the esophagus. Almost all the way, and it's in! Let's hear it, yes! All right, Patsy, let's pull it out, and it's out, up in the air! She's the queen of the queen! All hail Queen Patsy! Uh, you can uh, I'm just waving my ass, my stomach acid all over the front row there, just by that. <laughs> What COVID? Yeah, I know. If you look, if you look close, you can actually uh, maybe you guys can see this. So there's a couple of little globs and trails down there. Yeah. There you go. That's uh, that's that's. Uh, I, I bet I know what that is. I had a little pizza before the show. All right. All right. Still good. Tastes like pepperoni. That's that's a quality cheese slice right there. That's that's, that's what that is. That is right there. Patsy, Patsy, you've been absolutely amazing. Can we get a big round of applause for Patsy who didn't kill me? You didn't kill me. You are amazing. Now, Patsy, before you go, I do want to give you something. It's an autographed picture of the sexiest man in Dunkirk at the moment. Patsy, thank you so much. All right, Patsy, go ahead and help yourself down the stairs.